prepare to be amazed. Today, we're venturing into the bizarre to baffling world of the top 10 weirdest animals farmed by humans. From backyards to specialized farms, humans have taken animal husbandry to astonishing new levels, raising creatures that defy conventional wisdom and spark our wildest curiosities. Join us as we uncover the secrets of these extraordinary animals and the unique, often peculiar methods used to farm them. Before we dive into the incredible world of the weirdest animals farmed by humans, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell to stay updated with our latest discoveries and fascinating insights into unconventional farming practices. Now let's take a plunge into the aquatic world of our number 10 spot, sea monkeys, also known as brine shrimp. Farmed primarily for their novelty as a fascinating pet sold in hatching kits, these tiny crustaceans have captured the imagination of both young and old alike. The farming process involves simulating their natural salty habitat, allowing them to thrive and hatch, thereby showcasing their unique life cycle. Interestingly, beyond their role as a playful pet, brine shrimp are also used in scientific research and as a food source for other fish, demonstrating their surprising utility in both educational and ecological domains. Sliding in at number 9, we explore the fascinating world of escargot snails. Carefully raised on snail farms, these gastropods enjoy conditions that replicate their natural environment, along with a diet of fresh vegetables to enhance their health and taste. Escargot, a delicacy in many cultures, is often prepared with butter and garlic, highlighting the snail's rich texture and flavor. The farming process is detailed, employing sustainable methods to ensure high-quality snails are produced for the culinary market, focusing on breeding and handpicking the perfect size snails. This unique farming not only caters to culinary excellence, but also supports a specialized and thriving agricultural sector. Venturing further into the depths of unusual farming practices, we encounter the ethereal world of our number eight jellyfish. These mesmerizing creatures are farmed in specialized aquaculture setups that replicate their open ocean habitat, emphasizing calm, circulating water to mimic the natural currents they drift in. Jellyfish are not only farmed for their beauty in private and public aquariums, but also serve culinary purposes in several Asian cuisines where they are appreciated for their unique texture and nutritional value. The farming process is intricate, requiring precise control of environmental conditions to facilitate their growth and reproduction, highlighting the delicate balance between human intervention and the preservation of these aquatic spectacles natural beauty. Moving from the tranquil underwater dance of jellyfish to the lively forest floor, we find our number seven Madagascar hissing cockroaches. These insects are farmed for various reasons, including their role in scientific research, due to their large size and simple diet, and as exotic pets worldwide. Known for their unique hissing sound used for communication, they offer both intriguing study subjects and unique pets for terrariums. Farming them requires replicating their natural habitat, focusing on humidity, temperature, and a diet of fresh fruits and vegetables to keep them healthy and active. This careful farming process showcases the complexity of rearing even small creatures and highlights their wide-ranging uses, from research to the pet trade. Exploring the world of insect farming, we find grasshoppers at number six, key to the entomophagy movement. Grasshopper farming is a sustainable alternative to conventional livestock, offering high-quality protein with much lower environmental impact. These farms create controlled environments that mimic natural habitats, ensuring optimal growth and reproduction. Raised mainly for human consumption, grasshoppers are featured in various dishes worldwide for their nutty taste and nutritional value. Farming them involves carefully managing temperature, humidity, and diet to produce healthy, abundant grasshoppers, blending traditional farming with the future of food sustainability Transitioning from the chirping fields of grasshopper farms to the more silent and slithering inhabitants of our list brings us to number five, snake farming. This fascinating venture into herpetoculture involves breeding and raising snakes for various purposes, including the production of snake venom for medicinal purposes, the pet trade, and sometimes for their skin. 
Snake farming requires a nuanced understanding of each species specific needs from temperature and humidity levels to diet and enclosure design, ensuring a safe and healthy environment for these reptiles. The process is meticulous, with farmers often engaging in the breeding of rare or endangered species to support conservation efforts alongside fulfilling the demand in the pharmaceutical and luxury goods markets. Diving into the world of frog farming from snake farming, our next highlight is number four, frog farming. This aquaculture niche specializes in breeding frogs mainly for culinary use, particularly in cultures valuing frog legs as a delicacy. To farm these amphibians successfully, farmers must create conditions that mimic their natural wetland habitats, focusing on water quality, temperature control, and a natural diet to promote their well-being and growth. Besides their culinary value, frogs are also bred for educational purposes, medical research, and the pet trade, showcasing the versatility and ecological importance of frog farming. Venturing into the world of amphibian farming, we explore the moist, shadowy world of salamander farming at number three. These elusive creatures are primarily farmed for research, thanks to their unique regenerative abilities offering insights into limb regrowth and cellular repair. The farming process requires mimicking their natural humid habitats closely with a balance of land and water to reflect their native environments. Salamanders are also valued in the exotic pet market, attracting enthusiasts seeking unique low maintenance pets. Their care involves live food and maintaining specific temperature and humidity levels highlighting the dedication needed to raise these fascinating amphibians. Moving from salamander to leech farming, our number two spot, we dive into the fascinating yet eerie world of cultivating leeches, a practice centuries old that remains in demand for medical uses, particularly in plastic and reconstructive surgery. These creatures are raised in controlled conditions with water quality and temperature kept just right to resemble their natural habitats. Leeches, valued for their anticoagulant properties, are crucial in medicine for enhancing blood flow and preventing blood clots during surgeries. The process involves breeding leeches in tanks and feeding them regularly to promote growth, showcasing the intricate care required to farm these blood-sucking invertebrates. Venturing further into the realm of unconventional farming practices, we arrive at the apex of our list. Number one, crocodile farming. This top spot is occupied by an industry both fascinating and formidable due to the daunting nature of its subject. Crocodile farming meticulously balances the dual goals of conservation and commercial use, yielding leather that is highly prized in fashion, as well as meat considered a delicacy in certain cultures. The process involves breeding crocodiles in controlled environments, where their needs for space and water are carefully met to simulate their natural habitat as closely as possible. Crocodiles are farmed not only for their skins and meat, but also for their eggs and even for tourism, offering a unique window into these ancient predators' lives. The careful management of these farms contributes to species preservation efforts, providing an ethical source for high-demand crocodile products. Exploring these unconventional farming practices opens our eyes to the innovative and often surprising methods used to meet human needs while conserving our planet's biodiversity. If you found this insight as intriguing as we did, don't forget to subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments below.